Hello there. I just wanted to show what's going on in the shop today. It's summertime, so microcars are hot. Microcars are hot all year long, but today we're um, swapping engines in a 1955, I believe, slider. Uh, this would be an Azetta 300. So I've got both engines out on the floor here. The one on the left that's greasy over here is the one that was ran out of oil uh, and makes a knocking noise and we have a new replacement engine. It's not new, it's rebuilt here um, with the steel rod, I believe, and um, hoping it's gonna run good. So um, I'm gonna show you what a nice that engine looks like without the Dynastart on it. That's the front right there. The Dynastart, of course, is that piece hanging. Um, by a zip tie from the bottom of the car. That's the starter and the generator and also houses the points or in this case electronic ignition. That would go in this area right here. And then on the back side of the engine, it's very simple, is the flywheel. So that'll stay there. And a uh, little Izetta tech for you. They have the most unique clutch system. These are the parts for the Izetta clutch. You're probably wondering, oh, look at all those pieces. How's that going to work? It's pretty simple, actually. I'll show you if I can hold the camera and talk. This uh, diaphragm spring goes in there first. The pressure, I'm sorry, the um, clutch disc does not touch the flywheel directly. Uh, this is the, the bellows. And then you'd have what we call the tin plate right there. I'm going to set these in order the way they go. Then you'd have the clutch disc like that. This ring. And then the, uh, the steel plate that goes on the outside. So what happens is when you bolt this all together, you've got a little rod that goes through the center of the clutch here. And it contacts this pie plate, which flexes in and out. And it's spring-loaded with that uh, big uh, wave spring deal there. Seems to work pretty well, simple, uh, and very unique looking. So I'm going to get on with it and get this engine here and that car there. And hopefully we'll be driving around soon. Thanks for watching.